there's some serious gatekeeping of data analyst jobs going on. It's keeping people that have excellent skills or real interests in the field from pursuing jobs and careers that they might really enjoy. Let's talk about it. What are some of the pieces of advice out there that are really good ones, that are things that you should follow to get into your first data analyst job or grow your career? What are skills that you can learn along the way as a data analyst? And what things might you never need to learn as a data analyst at all? I'm Jen. I've worked in analytics for over 15 years in roles like data analyst, business analyst, data governance, and spent most of that time managing teams doing that work as well. This field can be confusing for people, and I'm here to make it a little less confusing for you. Let's look at some of the most problematic views and opinions that I hear from people that just don't add up and match up with what reality is. The first faulty opinion is you need to know dozens of tools to be a data analyst. SQL, Python, R, SAS, Tableau, Power BI, Alteryx, the list could go on and on. And as you get into smaller companies or smaller different software providers, the tools can easily go into the hundreds. You do not need to know dozens of tools to get into your first data analyst job or even to progress within a data analyst career. In fact, I'd argue the opposite. The more tools that you have on your profile, on your resume, when you go to apply for that first job, the more as a hiring manager, I'm going to question how well that you know them. If you tell me that you've learned 10 new tools that you haven't really applied with any depth, I'm going to question how effective you're gonna be at using any one or two of those tools when you're in the job. And speaking as someone who's been in this field for over 15 years, even I don't know every tool that's out there. Something to keep in mind is it can be really tempting to want to show that you have every single skill. And when we're talking really generically, I definitely see the appeal. I've been there, I've been in the situation where I thought I wanna learn at least a little bit of everything. But think about it as it applies to actual specific jobs. Yes, you might have a really broad general profile of knowing a lot of different skills, but jobs, the individual jobs that you apply for are not about having the most broad set of shallow depth skill set. They're really about, can you use the tools that you'll need in the job with some depth? Do you know how to do a lot of different things in those tools? Are you really effective at the set of tools that you're using? So while you will build up your tool set over time, I keep building my own skills. I'll continue building my own skills throughout my career and probably afterwards because I just find it interesting. But I never am aspiring to be at the place where I know everything as an expert because I can't. It's not practical for any person, any single person to learn all those skills, but you don't need it to be effective and to get a single job. So focus on knowing depth of skills in what you do know, and don't worry about knowing a dozen, two dozen, three dozen different skills or languages. That's not really what's gonna help you get the job. The second problematic opinion I hear that gatekeeps people from getting data analyst jobs is no code, low code isn't an option. I've seen lots of variations on the comment that you have to know how to code to get a job. I understand the appeal of this. And there are certain jobs where you do need to know how to code, where of course I'm not going to hire someone for a job that's Python programming that only has skills in Power BI. That doesn't, doesn't make sense. But there isn't just one data analyst job profile. Data analyst spans a lot of different varieties of jobs and a lot of different takes on those different jobs. So if I, have a posting for someone that's going to be working primarily in Power BI, why would I hire someone that has no Power BI and has Python experience? That doesn't quite add up unless something about the job is changing in the future. At the same time, there's so many companies that are working on good GUI interfaces to make the experience of coding simpler. There's still a lot of value in understanding the logic behind it, but there's no reward for doing something in the hardest way possible possible or in the way that, that requires the most experience of coding. If I take SAS, for example, a lot of their products allow you to code in them, but they also have GUI interfaces that make it very quick to maybe model your data, to pull things together, to put simple filters on it. I don't get rewarded. I, I'm not better at my job if I write that out as code versus using the GUI interface that's there. There could be times where knowing how to code 
adds to that. There are times where it adds to that. But if the job has more simple things that you're working on, then coding may not be a requirement. And I think we'll continue to see more and more things come on the market that make it easier for people to code. You could even say that tools like ChatGPT are shortcutting this, or people that go Google answers on how to code a specific Thing are shortcutting this. Does this mean you should never learn how to code? I don't know. It really depends on what you want to do. I think that there's a lot of value if you want to go into a data analyst career and knowing how to code at some point in your career. And yes, you're going to have a different set of jobs available to you if you know SQL, if you know Python, than if you know Tableau or Power BI. But that doesn't mean there aren't jobs out there for you if what you know is one of these no code tools. And there's other options, things like Alteryx, that are beyond data visualization focus, but are really at their core meant to be very low code environments. So you don't have to know how to code to get a job. It's just going to qualify you for different data analyst jobs if you don't know how to code. The third comment I see, though less frequently than I used to, is that you have to have a math or an analytics degree to become a data analyst. This is becoming a less common assumption than it used to be, but I want to address it because it does come up. Some people feel like they have to go get a college degree to be able to to work in these roles. And it can be really helpful. I don't want to discount the value of those degrees and that background and helping you really understand what's going on. But if we look at analytics degrees, these are relatively new. The oldest analyst degree is about 15 years old. So it's not super practical, especially if you're partway through your career, that everyone would have this background. And depending on what your math degree focused on, it may or may not be super relevant to the majority of the work that you might be doing might may or may not have uh, coding as part of it. You may or may not learn tools. You may learn more of the theory. So there's a lot of different angles people can go into. Do you need to have some background or some knowledge of math and analytics to be a data analyst? Of course, it would be foolish to say that you didn't. That's part of the core of the work. But don't feel like you must absolutely have a degree to get into these fields. We're seeing a lot more flexibility, a lot more shifting and it's more about regardless of how you learn the skills showing that you can truly apply them that is important to employers because anyone can go through training anyone can can sit through a course people could pay whatever they need to pay to go to, to different college programs at the end of the day if you can't apply those skills it doesn't really matter how great your training was because you're not going to be helpful in the business setting those are three of the most problematic views i see that are gatekeeping data analyst jobs and preventing people from moving forward in pursuing a career and a job they'd really like. Let's stop gatekeeping data analyst jobs and instead appreciate that there's a wide variety of what those jobs can look like and the skills and the education and the knowledge needed for them are very different depending on the level. There's no one single answer and sometimes nuance makes things complicated. It makes it confusing. Let's not stop people from jobs that they would really enjoy and could be really good at. Thanks so much for watching.